I don't think that you should ever have to sacrifice your health for beauty, which is why I've worked so hard to provide clean hair products. My mum always taught me to stay away from chemicals. You know, she always wanted us to eat healthy and look after ourselves. Yeah, that's always been instilled in me and health is my number one value. 20 years ago, I started on the reception of our hair salon and I just couldn't believe the smell and fumes um, for, that was coming from the hair colour and the perms and everything. And then I saw firsthand what was literally going on to hairdressers' hands. They were like bleeding, they had contact dermatitis, eczema all over their back and neck and just so many different things that I thought, wow, people don't understand what they're putting their hands in every day and then when, what they're putting on people's heads. And I just thought that hair colour was going to become a, a health choice. I thought if we could make a, a colour that had no smell, no fumes, that was ammonia free and then we, we went on to take other chemicals out, but it still worked exactly like conventional colour, wouldn't everyone choose that? I mean, why would you ch choose a high chemical product if you can get the same result with a clean product? Like, it's to me, it's just a no-brainer. When you're trying to take harsh chemicals out of any product, but you want the same result as the high chemical version, it's always going to be a challenge. What had happened was we had the world's first ammonia-free hair colour, and so people were calling us, even though it was just the two of us in this office, <laughs> thinking that we were like, because we were writing the world's first ammonia-free hair colour everywhere, right? <laughs> and they were ringing us going, um, does your product contain PPD? PPD is a dark dye that's in the most highest concentration in hair colour like Alex's, and then as it goes lighter, there's less. But basically, people have a strong reaction to it, face swelling up, they can go into anaphylactic shock, people have even died and gone into comas from it. It's, it's really bad. So obviously the people that have these allergies are looking for something because they can't colour their hair, like there is no option. I decided, oh, we should go PPD free. So we moved from the manufacturer in Ireland who wasn't interested in doing the product development work to a big manufacturer in the US who had made a global colour brand and said, we made this global colour brand, we can take the PPD out of your colour. We, all, we got the new colour, uh, weird stuff started to happen. Like, he was like, we're not getting great coverage and then he was like, hair's going pink. Like really weird stuff started to happen. So I was with the manufacturer in America and I started to feed back all this information and they, they didn't really tell me what was going on. And then just before I was about to fly back, I said to them, you've got to tell me like, what is the problem? And they said, you know the glue at the end of the tube? And I was like, because there's glue. And then in, with a the metal tube, they crimp it over. And they said the glue wasn't tight enough and the crimp is letting air in. The whole 100,000 units you've got in Australia and the 300,000 units we've got in America are like a ticking time bomb. They're all going to go off. I was like, oh my God. And then we were slicing tubes open like bananas, slicing them open to see which ones were oxidizing first. So then we could try and isolate the batches. It was bad. But we started FedEx product in, and I think over 12 months we spent $450,000 yeah. on FedEx. Yeah. We were FedExing in five shades a week, and then we were ring, ringing salons going, OK, how many have you got of these shades? And then we were going in and we were physically swapping them out. And I honestly thought, this is it for us. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, over. that's it. Like, but how, we how do you come back from this? Yeah, but we, we did. We did. Within nine yeah. months, we'd recovered the business to its original turnover. Yeah. And you know why it was? Because it wasn't about the problem, it was about the solution. Like, the problem was bad, like probably the worst that you can get, right? But we just kept in contact with the salons, told them when the colours were coming in. And some of them did have to use other things and then came back. But uh, most of them, they wanted ammonia PPD free, right? Yeah. They were on that wellness journey. And so I just kept going and going and looking for better chemists and different factories and people that understood what I was trying to do. And eventually, in 2015, when we launched Core Colour, we had ammonia PPD resource and free colour that performed exactly like high chemical colour with no smell, no fumes. And that's when the business really exploded. It's very surreal because you know, it was really started just out of wanting to help the hairdressers that were in the salon that I was in, you know, and 
I, I thought that it might go to a wider audience. I thought that other people might like it. And, but I never really envisioned it going around the world the, the way that it has. And yeah, it's funny because the internet has made everything so accessible and social media and I get contacted by salons in Sweden or Denmark or Russia or, you know, recently we launched into France, which has gone really well. And we launched in the middle of COVID into France. And, you know, there are all these French influencers now that are, are messaging me and following the brand. And, and it's just like, it's just unbelievable. It is unbelievable. I mean, I was on TikTok the other day. We don't even have a TikTok account. And there was like over 50,000, you know, TikToks on the hashtag. And I was just like, wow, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. And, and I think it's like every three seconds an O&M product is sold. And, you know, who would have thought it when we were packing in the back room of the salon and I was typing the invoices up in Word and, and you know, we just, I wasn't even collecting the money. I, I forgot to ask anyone to pay. I was just sending the product out. I was so excited. I, I think a lot of entrepreneurs have a significant event in their childhood. So I think for me, it was the death of my father at 17. It was also watching him deteriorate over a number of years. And, and I think that once, you, for me, I was like, well, pretty much I think it's one of the worst things that can happen, a parent dying. Um, so anything else isn't gonna feel as bad as that. So there was kind of, no failure was gonna hurt as much. Pete, you can tell yourself the reason why not, because of the fear of failure, or you can just have a go. And I just wish that more people would have a go. I do, I still do think I'm the same as everyone else. Like I am a, uh, I'm, I'm quite a chronically insecure person and I care deeply about people and you know what's going on around me. The universe is sending us what we believe. So if we believe life's not fair, life's hard, whatever it is, the universe is going to send more of that. And I ask the universe all the time and you know my close friends laugh at me and they go you always get parking and I go yeah because I asked the parking angel hello we've always felt very connected to the hairdresser they are some of the most crazy creative and passionate people and if you look at the relationship between the hairdresser and their client it's actually a very unique relationship they're not just making them look beautiful they're also their confidant they become an extension of their family. They're somebody that they trust to tell them when they're having a baby or they've got cancer or their boyfriend's had an affair or their girlfriend's had an affair. It's a very strong bond and it's a beautiful thing to be a part of. Being a colorist is actually very similar to being a chef. You know, there's a huge amount of training that goes into to be a hairdresser and to be a colorist, let alone to be a really high standard one. You know, there's constant education. It's not something that people just learn to be a hairdresser and then stand still. I just believe that, that hairdressers are to be celebrated. They are an essential service. Um, and, you know, we've had to give up so much recently. And I think hair is the one thing that we probably couldn't live without. What's happening is we're, you know, getting people, a tribe of people that are like us, that, that want to be on the same journey. And, and you know, really that's, that's what, what we should do. I mean, people want to connect, right? See, that's, if you make it, bring it down to one thing, people want to connect and they want to feel valued. You know, Instagram, you obviously show the best bits of your life and there's aspirational parts to any brand and being a founder. Um, but it's definitely not the reality. I mean, the reality is, is that I'm juggling a huge amount. I've got no boundaries with work. Um, I work all the time, even just in my head. You know what, the brain is like a computer, right? And we are all getting in our own way, right? And I see it all the time. And you see really talented people that just get in their own way. And it's because we're running a story that's a program that we've got from the past, right? So it could be our parents tell us, you've got to work really hard for money. Um, you know, or you don't deserve a lot of money, so those are common money things. Then it could be, you're not good enough, you're not clever enough, you didn't study well enough at school in order to own your own business, you know, all of these things. But 
that's all a negative belief system that's getting in your way. And I would say if I have one sort of talent, it is that I can observe that negative thought and then put a new thought in front of it. It comes back to happiness is a choice and it's right there in front of you. So my vision is that I want to stay at the front of the clean colour movement. I, it's in my heart, it's in my soul. I worked so hard. I went through so much to get here. So many things went wrong, but I still had to go anyway. And I just, I want to stay at the forefront of that. So even though we've got a really good product now, which is exploding around the world, I'm always working on the next thing. Like I'm in the future because I believe that there's still a better way. I think that I'm still learning and I think that O&M can still be a better version of itself, just that, like I can be a better version of myself. So I'm just keeping going with that journey. As a leader, she, she's never walked in front of me to lead me. She's always walked next to me and always held my hand and showed me how to do it. I feel that's the difference between her and anyone I've worked for in my whole life. And any leader, I feel like, you know, some leaders think that because they're leaders, they can walk in front of you. Whereas with her, she's never been in front. She's always been on my side. And I love that. And, and she's like that with everybody, with everybody. No matter who you are, you know, whether you're the receptionist or you're the CEO, or, you know, she's always been at that kind level. Parking angel, please make us lucky with parking. Okay, we just got one. See, it works. I told you the parking angel every time. If I could show you that there was a hair colour that performed exactly like ammonia colour in terms of performance, the colour lasting, the vibrancy, the grey coverage, the blonde, but it happened to be clean, low chemical, no smell, no fumes, no ammonia, no PPD, no resource null, but it worked exactly the same, would you change your colour brand?